Now, I don't know if you've ever played Rust completely alone on a server with no one else, but when you are 100% alone, things are a little bit different than they are when you're playing with someone. Even if you're all the way across the map from somebody, it's not quite the same as being on the server alone. You still feel at least the companionship of someone. I mean, I mean, as long as you're, you know, on TeamSpeak or something like that. Decided that nobody was on. I'm going to go ahead and hop on and see if I can gather up some supplies. And it is lonely when you are alone on this game. I mean, during the day it isn't that bad, but during the night, during the night, it's it's a little bit on the spooky side. And I this is with this is with animals. This is after the zombies are gone. Now, if you're seeing although if you haven't played this game and you're seeing the really fuzzy, pixely looking crap, it, it's it's not the game. It is the game, I should say. But it's what it is is this is a radiation zone, and that's what the noise will be. Uh is because you're getting, I don't know what the word is, irradiated. <laughs> uh, so it really, it makes everything get all pixely and it actually causes a lot of lag and everything. So if you're wondering what that is, that that's what it is. And yeah, I'm basically just, I'm trying not to use up my radiation medicine here. So I'm trying to sit back and let a little of it die off. Because I was hugging the wall because animals don't normally tend to be in these areas quite so much. And if you wonder why I keep pointing my gun at absolutely nothing, well, I'm not looking at nothing. I'm actually, it don't have to, I don't have to be pointed at something. <laughs> I'm just trying to see. There's a lot of animals over there, and I was just trying to get a closer view of what I was up against. Because if you're not paying attention, animals can take you down pretty quickly. Uh, I don't know if I consider them the same threat that I do the zombies. Um, but it also seems like they've tweaked them a little bit where they're not not the same, not as aggressive as the zombies were. Uh, I do kind of miss the zombies, I kind of don't. Uh, right now, right now if you're wondering what's going on, I'm trying to figure out why I can't get these. And what I don't know is I haven't looked over and seen yet that I don't have an internet connection and I just haven't been booted out of the game yet. So I'm going to sit here and keep trying to open these boxes, I'm going to sneak up on them so they can't see me and everything. <laughs> And actually, um, it's just because I don't have internet connection. And right here is where I figure it all out. I'm like, okay, I just got kicked out. So this is where I look over and see I didn't have internet connection. And I started it a, a little bit away, just right across the street. Because I spawned in, and before I could even start recording again, I like took two steps and a wolf was on me. So <laughs> we had to take care of that situation real quick. So, uh, you really can't go into this area for more than just a couple seconds without without some radiation medicine because this, especially this place right here, the radiation is so bad. It builds up so ridiculously quick. Uh, and I have, I don't have full radiation suit on. I've got some radiation suit on. I think I have two pieces on. So, I even have a little bit of protection and I'm still getting the radiation poisoning pretty quick, so that's always fun about this town. You 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 need those pills for this town. But I had enough I knew I had time to look in every corner and see where stuff was. Now, we built really close to another town. And our house, we, we were all flying for a couple days and our house was like mostly gone. It was like no walls no roof left so we had to move ours we thought because being near a town is really a good thing and I can kinda see why they made your your stuff deteriorate pretty quick and I am I don't think it's this box I think the next box is gonna be like jackpot yep there we are an M4 with all four slots open that's 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 a bonus prize right there but the towns are just like this as you see the towns give you this good loot so you really really want to be near a town but at the same time if the if this new since they've updated it I guess when you're near a town I'm assuming it's when you're near a town that's how we understood it with radiation your, your house is going to deteriorate quicker and I was amazed at how quick the deterioration was all I know is I spawned in and 
I look, and I and we have a certain way of. I'm not going to exactly say it, just in case. But we have a certain way of setting up where we sleep in the house, and when you spawn in and you are looking at grass and trees, you worry. You're like, "Oh shit, what just happened?" And, and we kind of got together and discussed it. I knew there had been. They were talking about. They were talking about your houses would deteriorate, but. I wasn't expecting that, and I'm assuming that being near uh, town, we weren't in the radiation zone, but we were we were pretty close to a town, so that so that we could get that really good gear out of those boxes. So I guess it makes it that much faster because you can't tell me if if our houses deteriorate this much in two days that that's not going to work. So we're we move we kind of located ourselves a little further away from the town so that that wouldn't happen because you can't be rebuilding that that frequently but uh that's all actually gonna happen or start to happen after this I, I won't even bother with any of that but this is just me and towards the end of the video I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna get uh hit up quite a few times you'll hear it start bleeping at me that was somebody saying hey I'm, I'm ready to play <laughs> but I, I'm always careful looking around even, I mean, you just, you just don't know. You have to be careful because the animal, it seems like there's no animal near you and then boom, you're being attacked. So I'm always paying attention. And if you wonder why, why are you, you have six slots. Why the hell are you not using all six of your slots? I have little pussy hands that <laughs> can't handle a long gameplay on a keyboard. So I, uh, I use X pattern. That way I can play the game with a controller. That way I can actually play for an extended amount of time. Because I wouldn't be able to play more than around 15 minutes on a keyboard. I love the mouse controls. But, but my my left hand kind of took a beating as a kid. Because I, I punched too much shit. <laughs> so I can't, it can't, it can't deal with the keyboard for very long. I... A controller doesn't ever bother my hand, but I just, I can't do a keyboard. So, x pattern is great for all of that. So if you want, that's why I use 4, because it is set up to use the 5th and 6th, but it's real clunky and it doesn't work real well. So I just tend to use the first 4, because those are real easy to do. I mean, I don't just use the keyboard, so, I mean, use the uh, controller. I mean, I'm using my mouse and at times the keyboard. Some things just don't work that well, and... It's if you were trying to move stuff from your inventory and around and everything, if you're not using a mouse there, then you're really wasting your time. It takes a long time to do all that with a controller. I'm trying to build back up some wood because I I used all of mine up to rewall some of the house. Because even though this is a vacant server people are still allowed in. People can still find it and pop in. There's just so many servers. People see one of 50 players or zero of 50 players. Nobody's going to get in because a lot of people want the PvP where I actually... I mean, I don't mind the PvP, but I actually like the survival aspect of this game. I think it's kind of cool. I, I do hope they replace... I hope we do go from the animals. I mean, I know they're saying there's going to be something that they're not telling us, but I hope we go f back to something... I can understand them taking the zombies out, so that doesn't make me mad. Especially if they never really meant for it to be, because I can see that everybody says, "Hey, this is Daisy Minecraft," and they're like, "Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fix this," <laughs> because it's it's not necessarily Minecraft, except for the fact that you are crafting and building and everything. It's not blocks the way Minecraft is, but um. But it's starting to get dark. Now, I'll, I'll tell you this right here and now. If you haven't played this game, you're going to watch this gameplay. And you're going to think night isn't that big a deal. I'm going to tell you, it looks a lot lighter watching this video than it does when you're playing the game. It seems really dark when you're playing the game. And I, you're really just not really wanting to turn around. If something is actually in the act of chasing you, you don't want to turn around and fight it. You just run at night. Nighttime is where you're supposed to take all of your supplies and you are supposed to craft <laughs> because when you craft you can't move for jack you can't hardly even walk when you're crafting so that's what nighttime is really a good time to for is to do all your crafting that's why you're supposed to get all your stuff 
during the daytime. And there is I'm not gonna make it home. Let's get that let's get that out of the way right now. It's gonna get dark on me and there's gonna be a lot of running when it gets dark because if if I'm afraid there's gonna be an animal nearby, then then it's gonna be run time. Now it does seem like the animals don't spawn in the same places that the zombies spawned. Because there were places where I remember being you know, there would be one or two zombies at least that you'd have to take care of before you scouted the area out. And they're they're safe from animals. So it it kind of feels like they took certain areas and really heavily populated it with animals and then some of the some areas there's just no animals where there there used to be areas with heavy zombies and then there were light zombies in other places. Which I mean you need to have some place that's zombie free, or animal free or zombie free, but uh, it's almost too many places because it allows you to be a little bit careless if you choose to be. And the road isn't going to work here. I'm 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 going to be on the road some and when night hits, you're going to see me leave the road, which is going to be panic time is what that is. That is a oh shit, I want to go home <laughs> because Nighttime is scary time because I can't see. And when I feel safe, I will go ahead and I will look for stuff. I'll find loot in the places you know you're safe. Um, animals can do shall hit you through a wall. <laughs> so even in some of these uh, buildings, you have to be careful because I was looking out the window and I had a bear decide he'd pop me through the wall. I was like, yeah, that's that's real nice that he was allowed to do that. But um, my only problem with the people on this is some of these things I just can't imagine. 50 people on one server? This, this world is big, but I'm telling you, 50 people is too many people. This world is not that big. You would constantly be finding somebody to kill you. And literally, once you die, unless you find a gun real quick... If you got killed by somebody with a gun, or if there's a group of people who are well supplied and near a town where they can keep their stuff and keep you out of that town, you're not going to get supplied back up. Especially now that the zombies are gone. Now that the zombies are gone, we don't have any more drops. I mean, the zo zombies would drop you weapons or ammo or something, and now, now you pretty much need those towns because the animals give you, you know. <laughs> chicken <laughs> no matter what animal it is you're getting chicken or or leather or cloth or something like that blood fat but they, they don't give you ammo or weapons or any blueprints anything a zombie might have dropped you don't get so i'm kind of hoping we do get something back because with the current setup the game is more fair to the people who are settled into their server They've made their homes. They're not going to a lot of other places. And, and if their home is located somewhere near a town and they're not wanting you in that town, then you're out of luck because you can't do much without a gun. Uh, you can make a bow and arrow. And bow and arrows aren't a bad weapon choice. But it's if somebody comes up to me with an M4 and I have a bow and arrow, I'm, I'm not going to feel like I'm going to win that battle most of the time. So, and I've played on a PvE only server that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. You couldn't move, you know, you couldn't move 20 foot without hitting somebody's house. There were so many houses. So then again, there's the problem with the PvE servers is, is you can't hurt other people. So it's just building and there's almost too much building. I, I almost couldn't move because the lag was so bad because there were so many structures uh, I had never seen anybody put up any gameplay like that where they were in a PvE server because I mean most people do really want to see PvP they don't want to see PvE and see this you're not seeing this this is dark as hell for me I can see a little bit but I cannot see as well as what you're seeing right now but anyways, I like the PvE aspect of the game. I, I liked it more with zombies. I like the little extra threat. 
Um, yeah, I'm already at a little bit of a disadvantage just because I use a controller. Because I'm not going to sit here and say, a controller is better. I use a controller because my hand sucks. <laughs> I'll say that straight up. Uh, when I do stop and use the keyboard, the aiming with the mouse is just incredible compared to using a controller. It's just, I just, my hand won't hold up long enough. So, so I don't have a lot of chance uh, in the PvP situation on top of all that. Uh, I'm not saying I'm at a massive disadvantage, but I am at a disadvantage because a mouse is, is by far a better device. It is much more accurate than, uh, than the controller is using the thumbsticks. Now, I, I'm basically just running right now, and what we're going to see is can we kind of sort of make it to the road and if you haven't noticed I am well you probably don't see that but anyways I was a little bit worried I was getting chased and a little while back I was so busy just prattling away here I was inside one of those little I don't know what you call it I call it a bunker there's two little bunkers or bunk houses that are right next to each other and I got the shit scared out of me in one of them, and you can't really see it, and you don't hear it, but it was just, oh shit, because I thought I saw something. You're alone. I guess that's, if I had been with anybody, I probably wouldn't have even thought shit about it, but I literally jumped, I stopped for a second in one of those punk houses, because I thought I saw something. I thought I saw a person, which I knew it wasn't a person person, because I'd have seen, it tells you when somebody joins the server. So, if you're wondering, the dogs, or dogs, the wolves quit chasing me. So now I'm like, okay, here you go, buddy. This is for freaking chasing me for so damn long. <laughs> I figured I'd get my revenge on them. And th there's an interesting little thing that you're going to see here. Well, after you see me get my ass bit, because the dog's going to bite me in the ass, because I can't see Jack at this point. But, uh, boom, bye-bye. But, uh, when I go to get back into the house, which you're going to see, I'm basically just... Well, no, I guess not. We're going to go into the town first. I forgot about the town. So, I'm a loot. I can't, I'm a loot whore. I can't help it. I can't, even though it's dark, I'm like, you know what? I got no radiation. I'm good right now. I'm going to go ahead and check all the boxes in this town. Because the boxes respawn pretty damn quickly, really. Which is, which is good. I wish they would do this in Seven Days to Die. It's like there's like no loot respawn in Seven Days to Die. So, you're on your own server. Or, or you have your own rented server or whatever, and you were the first one there, and you got a lot of the stuff, and you've got yourself well protected, well, then you are in pretty damn good shape. Because I know the one server that I actually joined, um, there was no loot. No loot whatsoever. I don't know where it was hoarded away, who had it, if it was on somebody's person, what the deal was, if it was buried gold. <laughs> I have no freaking clue. There was no loot any damn where the only way to get any loot was to kill the zombies so that needs to be addressed with that game because when you first start off seven days to die is is a hard-ass game i'm sorry for me <laughs> maybe not for other people but when you first start and you got nothing that game can be difficult especially at night so that there needs to be some sort of loot respawn so Maybe they'll address that sometime. I hope so. But there's no issue with it here, which is good because it allows people to, to, to arm up and, you know, to have a fair fight. But, uh, it, it, the bone, I mean, you can at least outrun the zombies. You have unlimited stamina on this game. You don't on seven days to die. So you run out of stamina, pfft, you're dead. You're out of here, bud. That's, that's the way it feels. So hopefully that gets addressed for that game. That'll make it a lot more fun. My friend basically set his up to where it was a, it's his own little server, so when he's playing, I can play too, and we don't have to be in this world where they've already used up all of the resources and we're stuck without. But I'm almost back to the house here, and as you can see, maybe, oh, that got bit in the ass, there it was. See, I just ran right through the wall, because there's no walls. But this is, this is a neat little glitch, I guess you'll say. The animals won't come into the house. They won't do it. I, I don't know why. I've always closed the door and run, but the animals, they won't come into your house at all. Even with even no walls, no doors, they won't come in. So you just sit there and blast away at them. And here we are coming up now where I'm trying to put all the stuff away. And I'm going to get start getting pounded to uh, 
Hey, you're on? Where are you doing playing this? I thought you were playing something else. Where have you been? Why didn't you let me know you were playing this? <laughs> so, this will end my loneliness. Because then he hops in, and he's the administrator of the server, and night becomes days. It's good to be the king. <laughs> oh, I will catch you guys later.